here again. You also notice that the Katy Perry on the left has a you know, has a longer neck but a smaller frame than the one on the right. One has on the right has, you know, a larger frame, the shoulders are broader and everything. And the reason why these clones look so, you know, sinister and stuff and evil and wicked and demonic and satanic is because, you know, they don't they usually you, they usually don't have souls, but you know, demonic entities inside of their bodies. And the reason why before back when the real Katie was alive, the reason why the label shut down and all that stuff and she lost a record deal, however or however this story went, is simply because because uh I believe she was murdered and replaced. With you know the product that's being put before us today, I remember this. I remember hearing uh, the lyrics to that song "Wide Awake," and there was a lyric that said, "Now I'm, I am born again out of the lion's den," and that's yet another clue that the real one got saved before you know before her death, as as I often as I often stated. Now, a lot of y'all claim to be Christians, but yet you know you don't trust God enough to know that. You know, to, to believe that the real person is in heaven. Somebody says, well, what proof do you have of that? I mean, the last time I checked, the Bible says we're not to lean, lean to our own understanding. And we walk by faith and not by sight. But if the person did, didn't make it or whatever, I mean, I just trust that, you know, God will just make another one like them. Because these I must admit, these people were pretty gifted. I'm not really talking about the clones or anything because, you know, their talent. The talent that God, that God, you know, intended for the original person to have, the talent that you know He intended for them to have, you know, the demons just, you know, because you know they're in charge of music and all that kind of stuff, you know, He 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 passed it on to the clones, the singing voice and everything. And somebody said, how do they remember their childhoods? It's because the memory and the consciousness, whether it's by the demon or you know it's been programmed into them, you know, it's been, it's passed on to the to from the original person, even the previous clones, onto the you know the current batch and stuff. Right here, this is another. This is like this is a childhood photo of the original Katie. I mean, you know, there's a, she has a soul to her eyes, and it looks like a real person. But one way I can tell some boys because I mean, look at that big massive hand. I mean, normally, you know, males have larger hands than females. Right here, this is. I mean, this is a doll. This isn't a real person at all. That's why the skin is, you know, pretty much flawless. I mean, look at those staring, you know, robotic zombie-like eyes. It's not a real person. I mean, by y'all um, idolizing these celebrities, because usually they kill the, um, the original person early on, either, you know, they, they usually don't live past the age of 30 because, you know, their programming breaks down. You know, beyond repair in one way, whether they're microchipped or not, or just programmed the or mind controlled the traditional way. You know, one way their program is guaranteed to break down for good is you know they get you know the new birth spiritually. They get born again, or you know it goes by several different phrases like being born again, having a new birth, and just uh, having a new birth spiritually. You know. Because, you know, with without that, I mean, you're not going to see heaven. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Because these people didn't, you know, they didn't they didn't go to heaven because they were good people or whatever. They, they went to heaven because, you know, they got saved, you know. They were one of, you know, there was their name was on the Lamb's Book of Life, you know, before the foundation of the world. And they were godly seed and, you know, Satan didn't really like that. So, you know, he had to get rid of them. Right here in this picture. They say that, you know, Katie looks like um, Zoe De Chanel. And some people may say, well, they may even have the real DNA. I mean, like I said before, they were real people at one time, but, you know, they were murdered and replaced. I think I think it's more that, you know, they're related than, you know, that they had the same DNA because the Illuminati keeps it all in the family when it comes, you know, to these celebrities. And that's why a lot of them resemble because, you know, basically because of incest and... Uh, you know they're they're related, or maybe some, or maybe some of these people. You know, a lot of them is distant cousins. Like, you know, for example, like Chad Smith from, you know, the drummer from, 
Red Hot Chili Peppers and Will Pharrell, the reason why they look alike is because I think they're brothers, if I'm being honest. Or rather, yet yeah, sisters, because, you know, you know how the Illuminati does switching people's sexes out and stuff at birth and making them live their life, you know, it's the opposite sex. I mean, don't come up here telling me I'm wrong, calling me names or saying ugly things to me because not only will your comments not see the light of day, you're going to be blocked. I mean, if you're going to do that, at least, you know, show me some proof, you know, give me, give me some proof that, you know, that my claims are, you know, they're false or fraudulent or whatever. Just don't, just don't come over here and react out off of your emotions and, and stuff because, you know, you can't stand it or try to call yourself getting back at me because, you know, you don't like the fact that, you know, I knocked your favorite celebrity off of their pedestal. It's simple. If you don't agree with what I'm doing, if you don't like my videos, then just don't watch. It's, it's just simple. It's simple as that. And some people said that my videos weren't long enough, so I decided just to, I figured out a way to make them, you know, make several at, at one time or something. Because, you know, this program allows me to make 15 minutes each. So I just decided to just make them separately or whatever and then just chop up the parts that I don't want out of that so it doesn't seem like that I'm stumbling all over the place or anything like that. Right here again, this Katy Perry has, I mean, you can see her rib cage and stuff. I mean, she has a small, she has a smaller frame than this individual right here. And she also has a longer, thinner jawline and stuff. And somebody said, well, she gained weight. And if a person gained weight, it makes them chubbier. It doesn't, you know, necessarily make them stocky. It just makes them a little chubbier.